some tips for you to make content marketing easier to implement. Number one, reuse content where possible. You don't have to create fresh, brand new content all the time for different channels. I have a blog post on my website, which I can send you if you are interested in, uh, which gives you some ideas on how you can reuse content. But simply, you can look, for example, you, you have your blog post, and then you can cut tweets from it and publish them on Twitter. You can take out longer messages and create images that you can then put on Facebook. You can share the post on, obviously, on social media. When it first gets published, um, if you had any kind of tips, advice inside the blog post, then this can be converted into an infographic and then can get published on Pinterest. You can also record yourself uh, talking on the camera, reading this post, then this creates um, a video content to go with the blog. Uh, video can be published on Facebook directly and on YouTube. And again, every time you can link back to your website and the original blog post. Uh, you can also create slides out of this blog post, like PowerPoint slides, and then you can put those slides on SlideShare, and you can create a different video. Now, you not, instead of you talking on the camera, you can do a voiceover, the PowerPoint slides. And then again, this can be a video that you can use for something else. Uh, if you write a series of blog posts on the same topic, then you can compile those posts and create an ebook or an e-course that you can then share with your clients as an opt-in. Um, so these are just some quick examples of how you can take one blog post and then reuse the same content in lots of different formats. Um, number two is you don't have to be everywhere to be successful. Again, a common worry and concern our clients have that they can't possibly be in all social media channels and do blogging and do email marketing and do video and, and be everywhere. Well, you don't have to be everywhere. The most important places you need to be is where your clients are. And if you think, well, my clients are in so many places, then secondly, think what do you want to do as a business owner? Especially if you are the one doing all your marketing you don't have a team of people who will do video for you and who will do content and who will design it for graphics and take pictures and do this and do that, then think, what do you want to do? Do you want to write blog posts? Do you want to shoot videos? Do you want to send lots of quick tweet messages? Or would you rather engage in groups, answering people's questions and taking part in discussions? Um, is your business naturally helping you create lots of visual content by, like if you're a health coach, then taking lots of pictures of food and um, recipes and I, how you prepare food in the kitchen <clears throat> to give people inspiration like this. Then you can look at something like Instagram and Pinterest. If your business doesn't easily lend itself to create lots of visual content, then don't stress about it so much and don't think, oh, I have to create lots of visual content. Start somewhere else where it's easier for you to get started. If you really don't want to be on the video, you don't have to be on video. It's good to be on video. It will definitely help you marketing. But if it's a big issue for you, then just don't start there. Start somewhere where it's easier for you, where you feel more comfortable, more confident, and you'll actually have fun doing it. Number three, focus on metrics and activities that matter to your bottom line. Um, if you remember, we looked at that slide with five different columns of things you can measure. Um, so the, the column that measure, matters the most for your business is the column of sales. So if, if what you're doing in marketing helps you get more sales and helps your business to grow, then you're doing okay. If you're just tracking, oh, I've got more Twitter followers, I've got more Facebook likes, I've got more Facebook engagement, and more people are sharing my blog posts, but actually you're not making money in your business, um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many Twitter followers you have, if none of them are actually going to become your customers. It doesn't matter how many people commented on your blog post, if none of them then went ahead and inquired with you about your business. Um, or how many people shared your post 
and then you got inquiries from those shares. So focus on metrics and activities that matter. And secondly, then look at activities that will support those sales and important metrics. Obviously, in order to know the metrics, you need to track the stats. So you need to set up some sort of tracking system for your business. Um, it can be an Excel spreadsheet. It can be something more advanced. Um, and then every month, you need to record what's been happening, or how many, um, whatever you're tracking, you've got. So page views, likes, conversions, sales, um, what's the cost of marketing that month, how many fans, followers you've got on social media. Um, and then you'll be able to track again what's working in your business. Number five is test different ideas, networks, and content pieces. Digital marketing landscape changes quickly. Best practices change quickly. So now six months ago, we didn't have Periscope. No one knew about Periscope. Before that, a year ago, we didn't really have Instagram. Um, in spring this year, Instagram overtook Twitter in the number of active followers. So you need to be, if you want to use content marketing, you need to be aware of what's happening on the landscape. So follow blogs, follow useful advice, um, like Social Media Examiner, every Saturday they publish uh, a newsletter which tells you what's been changing and happening. So you don't have to read like all the other newsletters that they send out during the week, but just read the Saturday one and it will tell you what new things are coming out, what's happening, what's useful. And also in those Saturday newsletters, they often share different case studies um, and research. Uh, so again, if you find something, oh, this might be useful for my business, then you can just click and read it.